Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Regrowth Amplified, playing the Regrowth map version 071 on the Feed the Beast launcher created by Phoenix. Look at all these beautiful 10, 10, 10 seeds. I've got all the water, air, nature, earth. And uh, the cool thing about these guys is all the stuff you can create with them. I mean, just look at this stuff. Where did you go, fire? Essence of fire. We can create lava buckets now. Uh, we can create cobblestone, sand, dirt, or granite, diorite, so we can get tons of rocks and, and materials without having to go mine them anymore. Um, with the air, we can get marble and quarried stone and ice and clouds and uh, packed ice and clouds. Oh, I already showed that. Okay. Not a lot you can get with air. Uh, earth. We can get some leaves. We can get clay, cobblestone, sand, dirt. Yeah, it's just amazing. All this stuff now no longer have to mine. We just come over here. Look, I think there's obsidian even somewhere. Oh, no, obsidian's from somewhere else. More cracked sand, red rock. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> All the materials are on this platform. It's beautiful. All the uh, flowers. Here's some other stuff like aluminum and gold and nether and blaze and obsidian and experience and ender and dye. Oh, it's beautiful. Love having them all at 10, 10, 10 because they grow so quickly. Even I don't even use water. I mean, it looks cool, so I'm going to leave it here, but I don't think I'll be using it much at all. Um, added a second floor to my house. You want to check that out? Look at this ladder. Ooh, it's pink. It goes up here. <laughs> this right now is just for observation, but it's going to house a couple things. Mainly, Thomcraft will be up here. So we're going to have an infusion set up here and then some research and things over here. Um, yep, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Downstairs, I've got, uh, oh yeah, I've got some carpenter's doors going on. Downstairs, I've got the uh, smeltery. I purposely didn't make a 3x3 three three because I've never made anything else besides a 3x3. Three three. This is a 2x4. <laughs> I've got a base and a table so I can craft either ingots or uh, blocks. Awesome. Got lots and lots of gold. This guy, I've been cooking up a bunch of stuff. So we got some foul fumes going now. That comes from uh, jungle saplings. Jungle saplings are pretty easy to get, even if you don't have... Uh, maybe foul fumes don't come from jungle saplings. Something comes from jungle. Oh, yeah, it is foul fumes. But anyway, jungle saplings, if you need more of them, just put some birch in a man infusion table or infusion all ta uh, pool, mana pool, with a catalyst. If you don't have birch, just put some spruce. If you don't have spruce, put some oak. So you can kind of cycle through your saplings here um, with the mana, uh, mana pool. So should be able to create any of the odors that I need. I got my vat down here as well. Okay, I think let's get going. As promised, we're going to start a little thumbcraft today. I'm not going to show a ton of Thomcraft on camera because we're doing so much Thomcraft with Magic Bear um, that I don't feel like we need to show it twice and make you guys bored out of your mind. <laughs> Before we get to Thomcraft, though, let's um, do a couple of these book quests just really quick so we can get them out of the way. Uh, feeling salty, the only one we needed left was the factory. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to craft these iron wheels to get the factory book. Um... But as soon as you create an iron wheel, which is really easy, it just gives you a factory book on its own. So, cool. We got that. Um, over here, I'm ready to craft collecting fumes. That's the recipe for that. And uh, let's claim the reward there. Mainly I, what I wanted to do this for was the free clay jars. <laughs> and then recipes for disaster is witch's brews. And that is going to be feather, a black dye, a dirt, and a book. So, feather, black dye, book, and a piece of dirt. Oh, come on. And then we get just witch's bruise. There we go. Claim the reward. And then the other one is this uh, the atlas. And that costs uh, a bunch of paper, an empty map, a slotted book, which is just a book with a label on it, and the drafting compass that we already created from before. 
Yeah, it consumes a compass, but we can make another one if we want it. And the atlas is actually pretty nifty. Um, you can use it and carry around um, map or empty empty maps. Let's get the few that we created before. So let's actually, since we already have a map of this zone, let's grab that. And we shall put that right in the middle somewhere. Okay, and now let's see. How do we select? Um, hmm. How do I tell it to use this map? Not certain actually. Okay, so I guess we won't use this map. <laughs> Put this one back on the back on the wall. There we go. And I need to rotate it twice, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So um, back to the atlas. Let's put the empty maps in here and let's zoom. Yeah, zoom level two sounds good. Auto center, auto create. So it just created a. Um, it used one of the maps that we put in there to create map number one. Now, if we go outside of the boundaries of this map, like over here, it should automatically create the second map, which it just did. And if we look at the book by right clicking, there's this link established that says, you know, this one is to the right of this one, or the left of this one. Okay. And we could just keep going. I've got one more map in there. So if I went far enough over the right, it would just keep mapping. But no more. We don't need a mini map in this pack. We've got one. <laughs> and it just automatically scrolls to the next map. Cool. So that's probably a thing worth keeping in our uh, bag, just in case we get lost or something. The others can go... Where's my bookcase? There it is. Inside the bookbinder. So you are a witchery. Where am I keeping witchery stuff? Oh, I don't need a second one of those. Uh, you are a witchery. You are a mariculture. Okay. Let's just put this book on its own. I don't care. All right. And so we got some books, which we can just throw in here. Mutanus. Free Mutanus is always welcome. An iron wheel. I have no idea what it's used for. Oh, looks like we're going to start doing some machines in Mariculture at some point. And then we've got these empty clay jars we can go through in here. Okay, I'll put the rest on here. Alright, let's let's actually get to Thumbcraft then since we said we were going to. Uh, let's get... we need 10 iron nuggets. So a weird thing happened when I put a roof on this floor, all of the uh, drawers, since they don't have access to sunlight, they kind of like went darker than they usually do, or the contrast kind of changed. So it's a little bit weird, it's hard to see them. So I might put a skylight in here just so this doesn't happen, I mean like cotton, it's all grayed out almost. But I think as soon as you give it some light, see now it works normally. So yeah, I'm going to have to find a... Uh, build that looks good that gives us a, a skylight there. Experience drops in there. Okay, so we need two iron caps to get started with Thomcraft. And a stick. Let's see, what's the let's make sure we're doing an order of the quest so we don't miss anything and have to do it twice. Wow, what the world teaches is actually only 52% complete. There's more to do. Okay. So the way the world feels, I don't know why that, <laughs> that's Tom Craft, but it is. All right, an iron-capped wooden wand, so let's make the wooden wand. There we go. And, oh, so we made that, and now we get some, oh, well, we get a lot more iron back than we used. Wow. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And I should put those empty maps in my atlas, shouldn't I? There we go. Okay. Next thing it wants us to do is to make a crucible. Which would actually probably why it just gave us those iron, all that iron for. Uh, no, I just need seven, huh? 
I don't know why it gave us nine iron when we only used like one and a half. All right, so let's head on upstairs. Let's put our crucible. This is really gonna bug me because it's uh, odd and evens going on here. And we'll give that a whack with a wand. Are you happy now? No, you need me to break it and hold it in my hand. Now are you happy? Hey, he's happy. Four watering cans. Okay. I don't know why we need that. But we got watering cans, I guess, to fill up <laughs> the crucible with. Okay, now it wants us to make a red crystal and an hourglass. Uh, so this is from Automagy, I believe. While redstone is great, the capacity to transmit signals, getting it to work the way you want can be cumbersome. Also more a little frustrating when you're trying to run two lines next to each other, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can put the redstone in a crucible. You can create crystallized structure. Same properties as redstone. Stay on walls and ceilings. Okay, cool. To disconnect a side of the redstone, simply click a small piece of crystal, uh, which is in that direction. An hourglass is at a five-second timer, which starts its countdown by receiving redstone signal or being flipped over by hand. Okay, so we need four red crystals and one hourglass. All right, and red crystals are... I need a Thaumonomicon, don't I? Why hasn't it asked me to make a Thaumonomicon? Let's see, how it says how to make it. Um, by enveloping redstone with the essence of crystals in a crucible. All right, well, I'm just gonna make a Thaumonomicon, and I'm sure it's gonna ask me to make one later, but I need the, I need the recipe guide here. Uh, let's get some wood. Good bookcase. Yeah, with the wand. There we go. Okay, are you gonna tell me how to do this? Where's Automagy? There you are. Red crystals. I don't even I don't even have it yet, dude. Why are you telling me to make this when I ha I don't even have it researched yet? Huh. There's the hourglass, okay. So the hourglass is two panes, some kind of uh sand, two wooden slabs and a repeater. Okay. Sand Glass panes, wooden slabs, repeater. Do I even have redstone? Well, that stinks. <laughs> I don't even have redstone, guys. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Redstone's going to come from either redstone or or essence of redstone can't make it in there yeah and the essence of redstone I'd have to get redstone seeds okay well maybe that that's why it hasn't unlocked as many quests as, as I would expect because um, we don't ha we're just not advanced that far so is it what the world is built from Yep, there's the redstone seeds right there. Redstone seed. A room of mana, red powder, a button with magic, and some strong essence. Okay, we can make that. Do we have any mana runes just lying around? No, we do not. But that's uh, ender pearl and five of those. Ender pearl. Five of you. Okay. And then we need four strong essence. 
We need an essence seed, which is right out here. Okay. We need a red dye, a button, and a whiff of magic. Red dye in hand. Button and with the magic would be downstairs. Okay, let's go make this thing and we'll get some redstone essence to start making some redstone. And we'll just have to save uh, Thumbcraft for a later time when we actually have the stuff it requires. Okay. So, you go in there. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any living rock. Why don't I have it over here? I'm sitting in here, probably. No, there it is. I have a ton of it, but I always forget to grab it. <laughs> okay, you are done, I assume? Yep. Okay, so air, or er, rune of mana. Did I just dupe that thing? Apparently I did, okay. Oh, no, it's not on there. Seed. You that that right? Nope. We've got uh, the red, the red, yeah, and the button. There we go. Look at them go. That guy's completely full. These are all like completely full. Yeah, he he over buffed uh, day blooms and nightshades. <laughs> Well, and the Aquasalis is overbuffed as well. Because I don't think I'm ever going to make another. At least at least for a while. Maybe it'll keep the portal the portal Elf Helm open. Or Elf Helm, Elf Helm, whatever. Oh, this one's slow, though. We need to get a better mana spreader. Yeah, that's really weird that the next thing that opens up on this quest book wouldn't be create a Thaumonomicon. Unless that's in what the world teaches. And for some reason... Oh, there it is! It must have opened up after I did the uh, the wand and didn't realize it. Okay, well, cool. <laughs> Alright, well... That's that's more to be expected. Now, does that open something else? Down back in the way the world feels? Nope. This one is still pretty much the same. Okay, yep, not doing those. Got the redstone seeds. We'll get some redstone essence. No, let's get the strong essence. Okay, and then we'll go plant that. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else open up at the moment, so we might have to go into some of this stuff, get some more ores from the red uh, nether and get the blast furnace, or I mean the titanium and coke. Okay. Oh, we finished this. Awesome, four slime balls. That one's done. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I guess let's do let's do coal coke <laughs> after I get this planted here. Took everything down because I've completely finished breeding every seed I had to ten ten ten, so didn't need any of this setup anymore. Go redstone, go. 
Should we turn the water on? Nah, probably not worth it. Let's just boat meal. No? Oh, it's magical. Okay, fine. I won't bone meal you after all. What else can go in here? Uh... Right, so we can't do... Let's just put all this stuff back since we can't do it till... for a while anyway. And we can put Thomcraft stuff in here for now. Okay, so for a cold coke furnace. Ah, uh, where is it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't understand these te the quest headings anyway because I haven't read them over here. There we go. So we need 26 coke oven bricks. Coke oven bricks are going to be from sand and seared bricks. Okay. And remember, seared bricks was from putting seared stone in ingot caster, which comes from cobble. Okay. So we need to make some sand and some cobble, which means we need to get... Well, let's just get a stack of each of these. Sand is fire and earth. Let's get uh, three stacks of sand. Cobble is fire and earth just the other way. Okay. Just get a bunch. I can put all these back. And we'll go down to the this guy. Could I put it in here probably? Um, I think this guy is actually faster, so let's turn him back on. Put some cobble in there. Should already be at 200 some degrees, yeah. Okay, we'll be good there. And uh, so it's going to be 26 blocks times 4, so we need 104 seared stone, and I have 27 at the moment. So it's going to be a little while. So should we work on something else, or should I just cut? Let me see if there's anything else to work on. The titanium needs nether rutile. Okay. And we had some of that, but our pick was not strong enough was bronze. So I think we're going to need to make a tinker's pickaxe of some sort, short, that we can upgrade or make stronger. So titanium I don't know. I don't know how to tell what kind of pick I need <laughs> to get up there. Um Let's see. Iron, man of steel, tear steel. I don't know, maybe bronze? Steel, maybe? Maybe steel. That would probably be enough. Steel comes from. Molten steel, <laughs> which does not help me. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to help. Probably going to make a Railcraft blast, blast Furnace. Whoa, there's a Thomcraft Blast Furnace now? <laughs> that's cool. All right, well, let's look at the uh, blast furnace then from Railcraft. Sheet of titanium. Okay, never mind, because if that takes titanium, then we 
don't obviously don't need steel <laughs> to get it. Unless it's a chicken and the egg thing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. I needed my ingot cast. Let me get a chest as well. That would be seven. I asked for eight. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, guys, in the interest of time, I'm going to do some research on what I need to do to craft um, titanium. And or, and then also to... Oops, wrong thing. And also to wait for this, uh, this cobble to form. Are you getting anything in there yet? You should. Oh, I didn't do that. It's auto-eject. There we go. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we are back. Uh, quick update on the Rutile. Um, Rutile is a Thaumium level ore, and there's two picks, or the lowest level picks that you can do to break that would be a Thaumium pickaxe itself, which means I'd have to unlock that through research in Thaumcraft. I don't really want to do that. Uh, the other option is Pig Iron, which would be Emeralds and Blood and Iron, which means I would need Emerald Seeds, which I think I can get at this point, but just take a little bit of work. And the blood, I can either get spawn eggs to spawn things in there, or try and drop wolves in there, or whatever mobs in there, myself in there, even. Um, and that could work, so I might do that. Let's get these uh, 26 coke oven bricks going here. Should be pretty close, if not, have, if I have enough. Alright, coke oven bricks. Nope, it's not going to let me shift click. Sand is on the sides. Alright, there's 25, 26. Awesome. A couple to spare as well. So let's put the sand back in here. Bricks in there, and we got the 26. Okay, so where do we want to put this? Do I have room down here? I could. I could put it right here. That's fine. If I want to do an autom automate it later, I might have to change it up a little bit. But oops. It's just a three by three, so really easy to make. There we go. And then Coke goes in. Coke. Or coal goes in, coke comes out. So we got 21 blocks. Let's just make some more. Where is my essence of coal? This one down here. There we go. Okay. Um, let's do this. Get a bunch of coal. Hole. We'll put it back in here, and then we'll take a bunch out. <laughs> that makes it easy. And that's going to take a long time. It's going to burn that, but we're going to get blocks of coal coke out. And then we're going to get a ton of uh, whatever that stuff is. I don't remember. don't care at the moment. Because <laughs> it only uses, like, for real craft, like, stuff. Creosote oil. All right, so we did that. Um, now it wants a cold coat. Well, 16 cold cokes to finish it. Let's yeah, let's not do that. I think what I'm going to do, uh, let's end the episode there. In the meantime, I'm going to go into the nether and look for some nether salt to get the rutile. I am also going to wait for that cold coke to finish, obviously, and work on what the world is built from. I'm going to get a bunch more of these seeds unlocked. So I'll try and get as many as I can unlocked. And we'll get to, to run them to 10, 10, 10 and find some new plant. I think I'm full on the, the patches that I created so far. I mean, some of them, obviously this one, I'm not really using all of it. Uh, and this one as well is kind of just for random one-off seeds that I might need like one uh, artichoke in, once in a while. 
But we got plenty of room that way that we can always expand down and, and create some more there. Or we could go out this way. Maybe that would look good. I'm trying not to go fully, like, everything symmetrical. So, yeah, I think we'll come this way. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll bring the water line just like that guy out this way. Yeah, it's going to look awesome. <laughs> All right. If you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And until the next episode of Regrowth Amplified, this has been Funchin X. I will see you guys later.